Martin, I'm Sean, and I'm Aaron. We're an Aaron girl. Okay, I guess we're not here today. Okay, so there's no answer to last week's question. We didn't have a question of the week last week. So it says Parak Chav Aleph, Pasuk Chav Dalad. Pasuk says, Ayin Tachas Ayin, Shein Tachas Shein, Yod Tachas Yod, Regal Tachas Regal. When someone um, breaks off certain part of the body, he damages it. So we need to have to pay that amount. Chalach the Gemara in Baba Kama Darshan said that it really needs money. It doesn't mean he actually needs to give his tooth. It means he just gives the money that's connected to it. The he's Mishal of the money. So the Gra says there's a Gra. He says that we actually find a remnant for this in the actual puzzle. It says, why does it say ayin tachas ayin? It should really say ayin be'ad ayin, or like ba'ad ayin, yeah, it's ayin instead of an ayin. Why does it say a lush of tachas? So lush of tachas is actually rumors that under ayin, ayin, tachas ayin, if you look at the letters of ayin, there's an ayin yod nun. So if he, if there's an ayin, what does he need to pay? He needs to pay under the ayin. So un, under the letter ayin is a, under it, after it, in this order of the aleph phase, under it is a pay, under the yod is a kaf, and under the nun is a samach. So they, it spells out kesef, it's oisios of kesef. So um, the ayin, tachas ayin, he needs to pay, under the word ayin, he needs to pay the kesef. So remember it's from the gro to that drosha of chazam. So, it says in um Parakhabes, Pasha Khes, I'll call the bar pesh al shor alkamor. I'll say al samor. So we have two we have two pazers in a row. Two pazers in a row, that's pretty cool. We find also by the other of Aloysia, if you look by the the part about Eldon and Maida, it also has two pazers, so it's not so common. Two in a row. So if you look in Sefer Ezra and Nechemia, there's a lot of pazers around there in Ezra and Nechemia. Um, Ezra and Nechemia, you find um, some, uh, quite a lot of pazers. Like many times you actually find three words, three consecutive words, and each one has a pazer in it. Three in a row. And even in um, Perikin Beis, Pulse of Love and Vav, there's actually five words in a row five words that every single word has a pizarre on it. Um, so now if you're wondering how that sounds, you'll never hear anyone leaning in Nechemia, so... Yeah. Um, so then, but I think the most in all of Tanakh, actually, in Perichas Pasuk Tetz of Nechemia, it says, V'yeshua uvani v'shereviyo yomin akuv shabsai hodiyo maseyo. These are all names of people, and every, oh, all those words have a pazer in it, making that six pazers in a row. I think this might be the most in all of Tanakh. Maybe, I didn't look through all of Tanakh, but there's six pazers in a row, now that's a lot. So, okay, so. Now, in Baruch of Gimel, now if we skip a bit to flip a few pages, to Baruch of Gimel, Pasuk of Hay, it says if you serve Hashem, then Hashem will bless your, um, your bread, your water, and I will remove the, any sickness from within you. And then the next Pasuk says, Hey, Lyosha, um, I will fill the days of your life. So in Sefer Kardis Yosef, Sefer Kardis Yosef, it's interesting Sefer by Yosef bin Garten. It's very interesting Sefer, it talks about all sorts of stuff. He goes on Tyra, he goes on Nach, he goes on Tfilo, Mayadim, Ultimate Jerusha, Ultimate Chudusha Halacha. So in Parshas Mishpatim, he says, I heard that uh, this, this from this Pesach, there's a remez actually. So the, the, the gematria of the three letters of Mikabecha 
curry, the shortage of it, kuf rage base is 303. If you add in my curry, if you add another one, it's 302, 303. Now, you remove 83 of it. What's 83? 83 is in matcha machala. So you're taking kuf rage base, kerev, and then you're removing the machala of it, removing the machala, which equals the gematch of 83, and what do you get? You're left with 220. Left with the gematch of 220. Now, and 220 is the miloi of the, the gematch of miloi of yamecha. So if you do, if you take the word yamecha and do miloi, which means you take the, the, each letter and spell it out like yod, you do yod vav dalid, mem, you do mem mem, how it's spelled, then the next yod, yod vav dalid, the, the end of chaf, you do chaf pei. The gematria of the miloi, um, that's the way I do miloi gematria, so the, the gematria miloi of your mecha equals 220. The same gematria as karev if you remove the mecha. So now you read the pasuk. Vasiwasi machla mi kerbecha. I will remove the machla, the gematria machla from kerbecha. I will remove it from karim. And then it continues. Next pasuk as misbar yamecha amale. And the number of yamecha amale in miloi amale. I will fill. Meaning in the miloi gematria, that's the misbar of yamecha that. It will be complete without any machala, because the machala is removed. The the eighty three of machala is removed from the calculation. So in safer, so in the safer, Shar Bas Rabbit. Now, I just end off with saying an amazing pshat. A very powerful pshat from Sefer Shar Bas Rabin. We we quote him on back in Parshas Shalach. It's very amazing Sefer. He calls it Shar Bas Rabin, the gate of Rabin. So in the title page, it explains why. It's because any everyone will like this Sefer, or the whole Rabin will like it. It's the gate of the all, all the Rabin walk in this gate because anyone who loves pshat, he's very into pshat. He'll find good stuff in the Sefer. He'll love the Sefer. Anyone who's very into remez, he always looks for good remez, he'll enjoy the Sefer. And even anyone who always likes going in deep drush, he'll still find, he'll, he'll find great drush in the Sefer. So it's perfect for the whole rabbit. So now we can just quote something in the end of Pasha Mishpatim. He says, so first the Pasha says, the Pasha um, says, where is it? Here it says, um, yeah, but you can't say my verse like Rabbi Rosh Hashanah. But you ever call Asher Diber Hashem? Nah, Asher Nishma. They all the Bnei Yisrael said, whatever Hashem says, Nah, Asher Nishma. Kedi would Nah, Asher Nishma. Nah, Asher the Nishma. They first said Nah, Asher, and then they said Nishma. So he asked a good question. He says. Um, how can they? How, how can they? How, why, how can they say nasa and then nishma? How, how can they first do something and then hear what it is? First, you need to hear what to do. First, you hear, okay, I'll do this. Now, hear what to do, and then you go and do it. It just say nishma vinasa. That's his kasha. Sharmas ramen. That's his kasha. So he gives the answer. First of all. He gives a mushal. He gives an avrech. He gives a, this is the mushal he gives. There was once an avrech right after he got married. He wanted to learn how to sew. He wanted to become a tailor to make parnasa. That was his way of making parnasa. So he started learning how to be a, a tailor. He says, let's say, for example, he was 22. He finished learning at 22. But he said, no, I still don't want to start my job. I don't want to start actually be doing my malacha until I learn. How to start making all these like how to start making the needles, making those hooks. I don't want to know how to sew the buttons. I, I don't want to start until I finish that. So okay, he starts learning. He starts learning all these like more sophisticated, like um, deeper, deeper tailor work. And he's, till he's the age of thirty, he learned that. Now he mastered that. 
So now, he, he still says, I still don't want to start. He still does not want to start until he starts learning how to spin the actual wool. And he wants to learn how to spin the cotton. He wants to learn how to spin the silk. He wants to go back all the way, start making the whole thing from scratch. Now he wants to learn how to spin. He wants to learn how to make everything, the buttons. He wants to master everything before he starts. But this way, but he didn't know that the needles and threads, you can just buy them in the store very cheap. You can easily just stop at your local, your local supermarket, I don't know, your local store, and stop by and pick up a few needles and threads. He thought he needed to make everything, or maybe he did know that you could buy it, but he, he just still wanted everything to be himself. And his malacha, he wanted this thing, make everything from scratch. So therefore, everything he made completely by himself. That's what he wanted to be. So he kept on learning how to make everything. And then, all his days passed by. And he never got to do Melech HaSachayet. All his days, he never actually became a tailor. All his days, he spent learning and trying to figure out how to do everything. And his entire life, he never became a tailor because he kept on thinking he needs to know more and more and tried to do the whole thing from scratch. So this is the muscle. So too, he says. So too. With the Torah. When uh, someone says, he, he won't do... I won't do any mitzvahs until I learn all shas, all paiskim, dal, chalk, and shulchan aruch, until I master everything, then I'll start doing mitzvahs. First I need to start learning everything, and once I know that I know it, I'm going to do mitzvahs. No! He says, Chas Rishalim, he's just going to die before he even got to do any mitzvah, and then he won't have the proper shleimos and without doing any mitzvahs. All he's doing is learning Torah, trying to um, just trying to learn every single thing. So first, a person is mechalim on himself, the all of mitzvahs, like a zera of a king, a king is giving a zera, he's mechalim on himself, the all of mitzvahs, and then he starts searching every reason, and then of course it's great to start, he should, every person should be searching every din, every time, every single reason, and then he starts searching again, not before. And this is what all Yisrael knew this, all Yisrael knew this when they said, it says, Kol Asher Dib Hashem said, we will do it without the reasons. We don't need to start searching in yet. First, we'll just do it. Um, because, um, Ein Bar Yirei Chet, V'loi Am Aretz Chosed, a bar can't be uh, Yirei Chet. Um, but, but still, a bar can't be a Yirei Chet, and like, Am Aretz can't just be a Chosed by doing mitzvahs. They still need to know all the deep reasons. He needs to. He still needs to keep on learning and learning after until he's ser searching everything and knows every single din very clearly. So that's what they said. Vinishma. Then we will start hearing it, and of course, he brings the proofs from the psukim that nishma could be could sometimes mean havona, like to understand, not just to hear. So first, we will do it. And then we will search it deeply into it and understand it very deeply. He also brings a proof from Pasuk, Ashri Noitzvayi Daisav. First, the Pasuk says, Praise are the ones that guard his mitzvahs, before they hear the shoe. And then it says, So first they guard his mitzvahs, and then with their whole heart they, um, they seek him. So only after is the Jerisha. Also, he says, that's the reason why it says Uksharim Lois Ayadecha. First is it's Fila Shalyad. First it says Mitzvah Shalyad. The Yul Tartifo is Fainyadecha. And only then it says Shalrash because it's showing that first comes the Yad. First comes all the actions. First they need to go and do the Mitzvahs. And only after that, where the Mayach is, where the Neshama is, in the Shalrash, that's when you can start deeply thinking into it. He also he brings like a, a similar muscle to what he says. He also says he saw in Sefer Yisoyed Moira from the Evan Ezra, the Evan Ezra Sefer. He brings different muscle about like someone who who said he won't he won't eat bread. He'll never eat bread until he learns how how exactly how it's planted, how it's harvested, how it's threshed, how to grind bread, how to bake bread. He'll only eat bread once he knows exactly every bit and he knows exactly how to do it. Then he'll eat bread. So of course, Chas Rishon, he just died of hunger and never got to have a jelly sandwich in his life. 
So now we see that a person first should do the nase, and then they should do the nishma. Only then, after comes the nishma. First, Klai Yisrael just did the mitzvahs without knowing all the deep reasons, and then the nishma. Okay, the question of the week. Question of the week. The Pesach says that, um, uh, the Pesach says in the parable of Gimel, Pesach, Lam, and Aleph, it says, we mid by Ananor, it says, until the river. So what river is this? Targum says, Targum Oculus, Targum Yoinasan, they say that Pras, the Nair Pras. So where else in the Torah do we find that, um, what's a place? We find that Nar, the Nar river of Pras is called like Nahar Hagadol. It's called the Nar, Nahar Hagadol. Okay. Thank you for listening to Torah Talk, Parshat Mishpatin.